In this video, we will test Unity game engine performance and we will see how much it is optimized for low end hardware. Trust me, low end hardware is the best to test optimization of any game engine. We will see how powerful Unity is when it comes to running Unity on a low end hardware or develop low poly games with it. Also, we will see how much rigid bodies it can handle with DirectX 11 API and Vulkan API. Let's first test it with the DirectX 11 API. As you can see on screen, on the top left corner, there are cubes that are spawned on screen, on right side, frame rates and other statistics. So let's see how it can perform with DX11 API. You can see it dropped to 9 FPS at 3450 cubes uh, with DirectX 11 API. Now let's test Vulkan API. Let's change your graphics API in project settings and let's choose Vulkan API. So let's test it now. As you can see at 3330 cubes, it dropped to 9 FPS. So DX11 or low end GPU is performing good, but Vulkan API is also performing very close to the DX11 API. But as we know, it is very low end GPU and Vulkan API as we know is optimized for high end or mid range GPUs. Unity is very optimized even with such low end GPU it can run smooth if there is low poly or low detail 3D game with decent lighting. Keep in mind that we are not using 2023's low end GPU, it's from 2013 and it was very low end GPU at that time. But Unity is much optimized to even run with such a low end GPU. You can smoothly run Unity with Nvidia GTX 1050 or Radeon RX 560 for low poly or mid detail 3D games with decent lighting and environment details. So that's it for now, like, comment, share and subscribe, I will be uploading more Unity videos, see you soon in the next video.